What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Rome Good. Good promo. Today, I wanted to hit y'all with a little something different. Michael Bivens, or better known as Mike Bivens, who was a part of the legendary 80s group New Edition and also part of Bell Biv DeVoe, who were members of New Edition. Recently, Mike Bivens been on a press run for his new documentary, The Hustle of At 617 Mike Biv. I believe you can catch it on Amazon Prime. But anyway, he's been doing a press run and I checked him out on the Mav Hoffa podcast, My Expert Opinion, where they talked about a whole bunch of things, how he got into music, how the group originated. A really good interview. Check it out when you got a chance. But something caught my attention in it that I thought was pretty dope. The conversation got on how controversial the group dressed at the time for an R&B group. Usually R&B acts wear suits or some type of casual clothing. But these guys, they were wearing more street clothes. The baggy pants, jerseys, big jackets, boots, the more urban street wear look. One of the guys on the show asked Mike Bivens that they start the whole backwards clothes wearing, which I always thought Chris Cross started. Or was that only me? Check this out. That was backwards. Chris Cross. All that, right? Yeah. So y'all did that before Chris Cross? The backwards clothes? Yeah. It's on the front cover of the album. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I was just online fucking with JD last night. I was like, nigga, you gonna tell the truth. You, you gonna cut a check or you gonna write a song. Right? So, and so I had this jacket, bro, right? This motherfucker was a 3X. You know what we was in the 90s. Niggas was here and shit right, right. looking like balloon pants, like right. Missy shit, right? Mm -hmm. I was on set and it was a leather jacket we had made. And it, it didn't have nothing on the front, but it had no edition written on the back. You know, and I was just like, you know, I think it was Ron. I said, yo, zip me in, nigga. So I go like this. You know, what you doing, Mike? Nigga, I got the show. The shit. So he then he zips it up. So when you see the Poison Hour cover, that's a zipped up backwards jacket. Wow. Mm. And then when you go to the remix cover, Ronnie has on a patchwork backup jacket. And then we did that. And then, you know, JD had this dream, you know, to go with Jump and he thought of it. And, you know, I let him have that for a little while, but he's got the cash. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the cash. Yeah. And he's in the dock too. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's my dog. Matter of fact, yeah, I did see yeah, that. Yeah, he's in the dock. I love him to death, but I'm like, come on, run it, nigga. Let's not do it. <laughs> Mike Bivens said they was the first to do it. You can see Mike Bivens, he has on a jacket that is backwards. And this album came out in 1990. And if I'm not mistaken, Criss Cross, first album, Totally Crossed Out, came out in 1992. So yeah, Mike Bivens and the rest of Bell Biv DeVoe, they may have been the first to do the backwards clothes thing, but Criss Cross, they popularized it. I remember being a young kid and wanting to be just like them. Wear my baggy pants backwards, my shirt backwards. And yo, big shout out to Mike Bivens. Check out that new documentary he just dropped. I believe it's on Amazon Prime. Let me know in the comments. Do y'all remember Criss Cross? I think Jermaine Dupree got that idea from Mike Bivens. He probably didn't steal it, but I think he got the idea from him and he ran with it. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all checking the video out. I'm going to have something coming real soon for y'all. Shout out to my subscribers, the old ones, the new ones. I appreciate y'all. It's your boy, Ron Good. I'm on y'all next time. Peace.